So today I'm going to give you a bit of a buying guide to second hand folding campers, more specifically Pennine folding campers. Um, these are very very popular on the second hand market, these Pennine folding campers. The reason for that is um, they last a long long time. Um, you get a good discount from buying second hand compared to buying new. A lot of people don't have 15 to, to 20,000 pounds in the back pocket, which is fair enough. Um, and you know, when, when you start venturing into the sub 9,000, 8,000 pound price range, you can get some really, really good deals on some really, really well built folding campers. Um, so, what we'll do is we're going to go through a few things that you need to look out for if you're buying privately or from a dealer like us. Um, all the features that you're going to want to see, you're going to want to make sure are working um, so you can enjoy your holidays. So what we'll do is we'll go through a few a few things that I think is important and obviously if you've got any questions please leave us a comment um, and we'll answer them. Alright, so let's get into it. The first and most important thing really in my opinion is the awning, making sure it's complete, it's in good condition and that the seller actually shows you how it goes together. Now. These awnings, they're nice and simple to put together. Um, I mean, us being a dealership, it's something that we show you how to do. Um, but I get a lot of customers ringing up, asking for advice, how do I put the awning on, this, that and the other. So make sure that when you buy one of these, if it's advertised with an awning, that the awning is in good condition and it's got all the pole work. Um, because that's not something that you want to um, you want to have to go back and buy later on and it's an extra cost to you. So there you go, number one. Make sure it's got an awning and it's in good nick. Next thing you want to be looking at is the interior features, interior fittings and the finish. Um, these Pennine folding campers and a lot of other folding campers, they come with a lot of features on the inside. So you want to make sure they're all working. Um, you're spending a lot of money on these things um, and it's one of the reasons you're buying them is because it's got things like a fitted fridge, it's got um, a little grill, a hob, running water, you know, interior spotlights, some have floor level heating, there's three pin sockets dotted around, you know, there's loads of things. So when you do go and view one of these things, you want to um, make sure they're working and that's not a case of saying, you know, do these things work and the seller says, yeah, of course they work. Make him demonstrate them for you. So make sure you know the fridge is on make sure you know your hob ignites nicely make sure the grill heats up make sure your running water is working you know all your spotlights work um, your floor level heating make sure it's pumping out hot air and uh, you've got all that stuff sort of stuff working it's um, it's starting to look like it's worth the money so what I'll do is I'll show you where a couple of these things are located um, just so you can keep a look out now it will vary from model to model um, but it'll give you a good idea of what to look out for so looking at something as simple enough as the lights, you know, there's plenty of these lights dotted around. You've got sort of uh, funny shaped strip lights there, if you like, that are fitted to the units. You've got one above your wardrobe here. And you've got various spotlights along the floor as well that often go missed. And they're quite nice features and floor level lighting. You want to make sure all these things work. The last thing you want to do is spend a good few thousand pounds on a camper, take it home and start changing bulbs. So this is simple. One and off. So make sure you check them. Your sink and your cooker are usually located together. Make sure these things are in because um, you don't want to have to buy these things separately. Um, they all come with glass tops. So make sure the glass tops are fitted. Same on your hob. Just make sure they're nice and clean and tidy. If they're nice and clean and tidy, they've been looked after. It's as simple as that. And then with your gas hob, you want to um, get it hooked up to a gas bottle and get it sparked up just to make sure it's working. And then in your kitchen area is usually a fridge as well. So again, make sure it's working because um, it's a key feature this to have a, have a working fridge. You want to uh, you want to keep your beers nice and chilled, so you want to make sure your fridge is working. So get that double checked. Now in the seating area that you see here, um, in a lot of the modern Pennine folding campers, you're going to find this little ventilation here. Um, it's not a vent; it's a heater. So you want to get that working um, because it, it, again it's a nice feature it means you can use these things for a lot longer in the year if you've got a little built-in heater you can just tick over and it just warms your cabin up nicely again make sure it's working um, get the owner to demonstrate it and uh, yeah you're laughing 
Now this one may sound a bit silly, um, especially when it's taking up time in your video and I'm talking about curtains in a camper, um, but you would not imagine how many customers we get ringing up saying I need curtains for this folding camper, whether it's a Pennine, whether it's an old Trigano or whatever, have you got curtains? Because people buy them, they see them up and nice, um, and then they take it away and realise they're living in a fishbowl because they've not got any curtains. So make sure all the curtains are in it, and that counts for curtains in your cabin, so you can have curtains on your back windows, here, here, and here. Curtains in your bedrooms, you can see them just tucked away behind the inner tent there. Again, curtains back there. Now I've taken the front wall out because I'm displaying it here, but you'll have curtains in the front wall, and you'll also have curtains in your awning. So make sure they're all there because it's um, it's a bit of a key thing that you want your privacy when you're away on holiday, don't you? One of the next things you want to look out for isn't wheels. Um, if you're buying a folding camper without wheels, then you've got bigger problems. Um, it is the little device that you see just to the right of it there, and that is a motor mover. A lot of folding campers come with these. I think it's an extra that you can get when you buy them new, and it's a very popular one as well. I see a lot of newer ones with these motor movers on. Brilliant devices, just means you can move the thing around, especially when you're on site or when you're at home by the remote. It just chugs along, it turns it into like a little tiny tank, and uh, yeah, you can just move it around. Um, now these things, you want to make sure they're working, because um, you don't want to have to take this to a caravan dealership to get it replaced or worked on or anything like that. Again, it's just a case of don't blindly buy something that's got a motor mover, just make sure it's working. Um, they all come with a remote, make sure the remote's paired up with it and working. Um, and okay, again, it's just a case of having it demonstrated for you. You know, seeing is believing at the end of the day. You want to see these things working. And um, as soon as you know that, you're laughing. Another quick one, and this is something that we do get off asked for often, is, it's not windows, it's these little flexible rods here. These run all the way through the window fit into these pockets and they give the window a bit of shape it's just so you can ventilate inside but still keep um, still keep it watertight you know so the water's going to run off it but you're going to get a nice airflow into your bedrooms now those little rods do tend to go missing so make sure it's got them all just on a quick note um, I know we've just covered quickly that you should be checking over ovens working and hobs working and all that sort of stuff um, you want to double check gas fittings as well, um, just for safety, just for safety, you know it's one of those things at the end of the day if it's working it's working but you want a bit of peace of mind especially with gas now um, with these there should be service records that you know um, if it's been looked after it should have been taken to you know a gas safe certified workshop like I was um, and have somebody look over it you know you want to double check all your gas fittings and just have a little bit of peace of mind um, involving that. All your gas fittings are located within your cupboards that you see here so behind the units are hidden away um, but they are sort of easily accessible so you just want to double check them, double check them, have a quick look at the condition if it's all clean and tidy and everything's working then you're happy um, but it might be worth getting these things serviced as soon as you buy them you know ready for a camping season and then uh, yeah it's just one less thing to worry about but yeah so double check all your gas fittings right so we looked at the the modern ish one um, that Pennine quartz for so we'll look at something that's a little bit longer in the tooth now this is a Pennine Pathfinder it is a 2005 model now the Pathfinder range is still running today um, same shape same design um, they're very very they look a lot more modern compared to this one but you know these ones are still out there the 2005 ones it's a bit of a testament to how long these things can last um, so yeah we'll just run through some things as well on what to look out for and we'll just do it on this on this slightly older model all right right so when you look start looking at these um, these older models you're going to be looking at um, cotton canvas rather than the acrylic canvas that's on the modern ones um, now with cotton canvas what you find on older models is they fade um, you know because these things are used on holiday people get good weather when they're on holiday um, especially when they're abroad and not in this country um, so what you f tend to find is canvas fading now the way to identify canvas fading is quite simple what you want to look for is a part of the canvas that doesn't see sunlight so if you look at underneath here 
that bit of canvas here isn't going to see sunlight. All right, so that that, that colour pigment will not fade. Um, I don't know whether you can see the difference because this one isn't faded all that much. But if you look at this colour pigment here compared to that colour pigment there, that is the fading. All right. Um, so yeah, you just want to keep an eye out for that on the older models that are cotton canvas. All right, so taking a step into this one, um, it's a very, very similar layout as what we were saying before. The layout hasn't changed all that much. It's just um, the interior look of the things. So, you know, things are in a similar place. So you've got your oven there, um, you've got your grill, you've got your hob, running water, um, your fridge is uh, tucked away just near that cupboard. We'll have a look at that in a second. Um, what you'll also find with these bigger campers, the six berth campers, the Pathfinders, is they're going to have a toilet compartment. Um, now, you want to make sure the toilets are working. Um, this one, for example, it came into us and it wasn't working. So we fixed it before we put it up for sale. Um, it was a toilet pump issue. Um, these things tend to have a lifespan. Um, so that's something you want to, again, make sure is working before you hand over your money. Um, and when I say when I say working, I mean, you know, don't use it, just make sure it flushes. You know, the guy's not going to appreciate you using his toilet in his camper to see if it's working. But just give it a flush, make sure it's working. Um, and yeah, so things are in a similar place. Again, you want to make sure lights are working, all your sockets are working, etc. So we'll have a quick look at the toilet compartment, quick look at where the fridge is, and, uh, and yeah. Quick look in the toilet, little push button opening, door opens, and there's your toilet. You want to make sure it's all nice, that little sink holds down for you. That's your wash basin. Again, you've got running water in there. They should all have a fitted mirror. Sometimes you see it on second hand ones, the mirror's missing, um, usually because it's broken over time. Um, not sure how people manage that, but there you go. Um, make sure it's got the mirror. Make sure the sink's working, make sure the box's working. Fridge is located just in this corner here, just by the doorway, next to your wardrobe. Pretty sure on the new ones it's in the same place. Um, they're still using Dometic fridges for a reason, they're very good. Um, so what we'll do, fridge is on, door is unlocked. And there you go, there's your fridge. You want to make sure your fridges are nice and clean. Because, um, well, that's just for hygiene reasons. Nobody wants a gammy fridge. Um, and, uh, and yeah, make sure it's working. There you go. One of the final things to look out for is these tables. Um, all the folding campers should have a little table. All the, all the bigger sort of six berth and some of the four berth ones should have a table. Um, that table sets up nicely here. So you've got like a nice sitting area, you can sit either side of it and have a nice meal time. Um, it's also got another function and it forms another bed. So that table slots perfectly into this place here and these little tracks that you see, it sits in there. You can arrange your cushions to create another bed space. So it's a bit of a key feature if you want that extra bed. So if you haven't got the table, you haven't got the extra bed, so look out for that. Right, we'll uh, we'll end it there, partly because I've run out of things to say. I'll probably think of some more things once I finish the video, but that's that. Um, if you've got any further questions, if you've got anything you think I missed, you've bought a folding camp yourself, um, anything like that, please feel free to leave us a comment. Um, and then these two models that you've seen in the video, as of this video being uploaded, on the day these are for sale um, so if you've got any further questions between about these particular models please feel free to get in touch with us and uh, all right that's that thank you very much